Look, it's a lot of ways I can go about this topic. So hear me out. As a little girl, right? First off, you are privileged than a motherfucker if you grew up in a household with two parents, okay? But at the same time, if your parents get a divorce, like they really break up and just go their separate ways, 90 to 95% of the time, the kid is going to stay with the mom, right? Her mom is going to raise her how she want her to be. You know what I'm saying? So by 10 or 11 or 12 years old, your mom already been in a marriage. Your mom already had a couple boyfriends. She had kids already. So when she puts that and instills that upon you, that's what you're going to want. So by 11, 12, 13, 14, you already know what you want your marriage to look like. You already know how many kids you want, what kind of house you want, all that type of good shit. You know, and so you really put that shit into action by the time you turn 18, 19, 20. Because you want to be just like your mom and your mom is going to stay on your ass. All right. But on the other hand, if you happen to be a little boy that didn't go with his mom, I mean, that didn't go with his dad. And you still stand with your mom. It's only so much your mom can tell you. You know what I'm saying? The only thing she can really tell you is how, you know, you should respect women, you know, and be the best man that you could be. But she can't show you how it is to really treat a woman. How it actually feels for the first time to have sex with a woman. The emotions. She don't know how that shit feel. You know, so as a boy, we growing up, we growing up, and she can't teach you to be a man. That's one thing she can't. She can tell you how to be one. But only a man can teach you how to be a man. And if you ain't got that up in the house, then you're going to find it elsewhere. And that's when you go out in them streets, all right? So you're growing up this whole time trying to find yourself. 14, 15, 16, 17. You're really trying to find yourself. But you can't. You don't know who you are. You don't know what a man is actually supposed to do or actually supposed to be like. You don't know that type of shit. So when you're growing up, you fucking with your homies. You learn it from the streets. So all you knowing is fucking these little bitches over here. Trying to fuck the thickest girl. Trying to fuck the cutest girl. Get you some money. Yada, yada. That's what you think a man is. You know, you're growing up and you're having fun. That's exactly what you think you're supposed to do. But at the end of the day, when you do meet a female, say you're around 24, 25, and you do meet a female that's really on her shit and know what she want in life, and you really fall in love with her and she ready to get married, then your mind is going to be wondering. You don't know what the fuck to do. You're not going to tell her that, though. So if she agree to get married, you might say, yeah, but you're not going to be, you, look, you're going to propose, okay? But the, 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 the topic of conversation is going to come from her her family, her friends about marriage and all this type of shit. Then you're going to think of how good of a woman she is, how long you've been with her, then you will propose. But at the end of the day, you don't know how to be a husband. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to take care of a woman and her needs. Because all these years, all you've been doing is fucking on these little hoes. That's all you've been doing. You don't know what else to expect. You know where kids come from. You know who baby mamas is. You know who the hood rats is. You know who the thoughts and the ratchets and all that is. But a real woman, that kind of scares you a little bit. Like you really got a man to fuck up and really cater to her needs. You know what I'm saying? And she want a real man. You can tell her you grew up without a father, but you're not going to tell her like, I'm not a real man. I don't know what it feels like to talk to you, caress you, your feelings, all that type of shit. You know, and females, when they do marry us, y'all come into a situation where y'all got to know y'all just have to give us a little leniency. Because like I said, this is our first time of really trying to grow up. And it's going to be a domino effect if niggas don't stop leaving their kids. So that 25, 26 year old, 27 year old that's about to get married to this real woman and they have a baby. I just hope he stay there so he can show this kid what it's like to be a man, be a real man to take care of his family. Because you have to grow up on your own and learn that shit on your own. And you knew how hard it was. So as a female, if you really love that dude that you marry, you got to give him a little credit. Give him a little leniency, you know, because he's trying. He not finna tell you, like, I don't know what to do. He not finna tell you, like, oh, my God, this shit is not working. Or um, I'm folding as a man. Or you need somebody better. He not finna tell you no shit like that. All he gonna try to do is get better and better at it. So just give him some time. Because all we trying to be is a good husband. That's it. You know? And we try, we try, we try. But we really don't know what that is. And nobody's here to teach you. You know, you know how to be a good wife. Your mom taught you that. Your auntie taught you that. But as far as a good man, a good husband, I'm learning by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a good man by myself. I'm trying to be a good husband by myself. It's learning curves. You know, and when you're trying to learn something from scratch and off the top of your head, it's hard. I'm really out here looking at different men. Okay, this man wear a nice tuxedo and a nice suit. He walk right. Okay, that's cool. This man talk to himself. 
talk to his wife real proper. Okay, that's cool. Oh, this man work out a lot. That's what a real man should do. Okay, I'm going to adapt to that. That's cool. That's how most men pick up on how to be a man. Because as far as a man really raising a man step by step by step by step until he's a grown ass man and showing him what life is like, the shit is really unheard of. You know what I'm saying? And not everybody, not everybody leave their kids unwanted, but about 70% of the males will leave and not give a fuck about their seed and will make sure he grow up by himself and learn life by himself and just hope he adapt to the right things instead of the wrong things. You know? Let me get at y'all next time. 100.